What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Too Far Out YouTube channel. My name is Asteroid Austin. And today I just kind of wanted to flow about this topic. How to make any unwanted situation change to your benefit. So I thought this topic would be really cool because, you know, there's, I know a lot of times maybe we're going through life and we experience unwanted circumstances, things that we just don't like, you know, just flat out, just, I don't want to be part of this. I want these people away from me, yada, yada, you know? So today I'm going to talk about how to make any unwanted circumstance, anything in your life that you don't want, how to change it and make it to your benefit. Okay. So I did not plan this video out. I'm just going to go with it. So if I take a time, you know, just bear with me. All right. Basically, as a creator, a conscious creator, a person who creates the reality, right? A person who uses life as an etch-a-sketch. This is a very important topic, okay? To make any unwanted circumstance change to be your benefit is an amazing skill that we should all learn how to use. And the reason is, is because again, we all go through life and we have our ups and downs. Life is like a roller coaster, you know? Sometimes it's freaking awesome and sometimes it just sucks. And that's okay. We're learning to accept anything that comes to us. Surrender the outcome. Allow it to be right so those words may seem counterproductive to someone who's creating the reality surrender and acceptance how can you create something if you've accepted the outcome already or if you've already accept accepted the circumstance right oh man my girlfriend just broke up with me you know, I, I want to get past this. I don't want to feel this anymore. It hurts. How will surrender or acceptance help me change the circumstance? If I accept it, that's not going to get her back. <laughs> and you're right. Maybe not like that. But what can happen is you're going to take yourself out of that place of victimhood. You're going to take yourself out of that place of... I'm not loved, I'm not worthy enough to be in this relationship. I'm not enough, right? Victimhood, victim mentality. You take yourself out of that when you accept things because you say, you know what? This happened. My girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend has broken up with me. And yes, my heart hurts, but I'm gonna accept the circumstances and just know that I am able to move on. No matter what, no matter what happens, no matter what's said, no matter the feelings that I have, eventually, if not right now, I can move on. I can be okay again. So I accept this pain. I accept the circumstances for what they are. And what that will do for you is just allow the 3D circumstances to drop from your mind, basically. Instead of trying to control everything, right? Oh, I need her back. I need her back. Oh, it hurts. <sighs> you see that? Just let go. <clears throat> Through this process, you're going to be able to use clearer thinking. Instead of saying, oh, I need him back. I need him back. Now you can say, okay, this is what happened. I'm going to take a logical approach or a loving approach <laughs> to this, this situation. This hurt me, but there's many options now that I've accepted it. Instead of being in this place of victimhood, oh, it hurts. It hurts. How do I get her back instead? Now you can use your clear level thinking from a place of acceptance to say, well, you know, like you can analyze the relationship from a different standpoint. 
Maybe it was good that this happened. Maybe it was for the best for everybody. Or maybe it was just a little uh, misunderstanding or something. And now you're able to, with a clearer, more accepting point of view, come to her and, and talk to her about it. Maybe in a way to get her back or in a way to have closure for yourself, right? Okay, so this was just an example, okay? So, making any unwanted circumstance change to be in your benefit. How do we do this? Well, first, you've got to come to a realization that you are in a circumstance that sucks. <laughs> like, that's not so hard, is it? We go through life, we go through our day-to-day, -day, you know. Oh, and, and, and so maybe sometimes it can be hard because we're on autopilot and we're just going through our day and we're not really focusing on everything, right? This is where my past videos come in because I've been talking about your outer and inner worlds, right? How everything that you feel on the inside has an outside component, okay? So if the outside component or current situation makes you feel inside like you're unhappy, this is great. <laughs> Because now you get to sit down with yourself and you get to say, okay, you know what? This circumstance is hurting my feelings. What about this circumstance hurts? Why am I still putting myself in this circumstance when it hurts? What about this situation is attractive to me, right? When I'm in this circumstance, am I getting benefits? What benefits am I getting from this circumstance? Can I get these benefits somewhere else? You see what I'm doing here? I'm starting to jog my mind. I'm starting to use my mind as a way to look at the circumstance and be like, Oh man, this isn't what I want. This is, I didn't mean to create this, alright? I created this circumstance in my life and it's hurting me. I don't want this one anymore. Okay, that's cool, man. It's your choice. But... You got to take the steps to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? So you're looking at the circumstance. You're finding what is beneficial about it and what's not beneficial about it. And again, are we able to get these benefits from another source? Are we able to minimize the the lack of benefits or like the, the, um, the consequences of this situation that are harming us? Can we get rid of them or minimize it? Can we just get rid of the situation altogether? Just drop it totally? Or or should I go to that place of acceptance and, you know, just kind of rewire the circumstance or situation, whatever's going on? See, when you're in a situation that sucks for you or that you're in an unwanted situation, right? This is a great place to be because now you're able to use your mind to see what it is that is upsetting you. You learn something about yourself. And through learning about yourself, you get to use the same application in different areas of your life. Consider this, you're in a situation, right? And it just sucks, you're just mad, you know, this person's doing this, they're annoying you, or I don't know, like your business plans fell through, or whatever, man. Or maybe it's just cold outside. It doesn't even have to be a big thing. Anything, right? You find yourself complaining. Man, this sucks. I didn't get the money I need. It's cold outside. I don't feel like getting a haircut today. <laughs> you know, you're complaining. You're upset about something. You're taking it out. You want to get the emotions out. But what you're doing is you're just putting yourself in that hole deeper because you're complaining. You're reacting to the situation. You're putting your energy into it and you're making it worse. So what do we do during these circumstances? I know that you guys have heard this when you were in elementary school talking about whenever you bully somebody or you say something mean to somebody, you got to give them three compliments, all right? So we could turn our complaints into compliments. 
What about this search? <laughs> what about this circumstance? Is bringing me joy. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe you're just infuriated. Infuriated. There it is. Maybe you're just infuriated. You find yourself, oh, this, oh, this, man, that too, and now this. Right? When you find yourself doing that, take those complaints and turn them into compliments. And this is literally the smallest or most minuscule thing that you can do to start changing your vibration or to start lifting yourself out of that darkness. Because again, complaining about it is just keeping you there. Because what you're saying is, like, this person is annoying me, or it's cold outside, right? You're saying those. And that's your brain believing that the outside is in charge of the way that you feel inside. And that's not true. You can give your power away and make it true if you want it to be, but that's just simply not how it is. You are in control of your thoughts. And then you're in control of your feelings because you control your thoughts. So when you're in a bad mood and you're complaining about how cold it is outside, whose fault is it really? I mean, did you put enough coats on? <laughs> did you put a hat on? Did you put some winter gloves on? Are you cold? Did you bundle up? What I'm trying to say is, is that that moment, you're being the victim. You're making yourself into a victim by saying, oh, it's cold. I don't have any control of the way that my body feels. Like, yeah, you do, silly. <laughs> sure you do. You just got to put some more clothes on. But again, okay, so compliments or complaints to compliments. It's cold outside. And then you turn that to, man... It might be cold outside, but the frost on the grass is beautiful. I love the way that the lake looks when it's frozen over. Or, you know, this is a perfect time for me to bust out that new hoodie that I've, I've been wanting to wear. Or, you see what I'm saying? Or you could say, oh man, I'm so glad I'm in this circumstance because now I know Next time that it's this de the, these degrees outside, I know to put an extra layer on. This is wonderful. I don't have to be cold next time. <laughs> and I know it sounds so simple, so silly, but this is so often overlooked. And because it's so often overlooked, we literally live our whole lives in the negative mindset. Being the victim. Because we're not really just ready to take responsibility for what we have going on. Turning our complaints into compliments helps us do this. Because growing up, for me personally, I know, but also a lot of other Americans, or a lot of other people in the world grew up and we were trained to focus on the part of life that is not good, right? I mean, school teaches us to be problem solvers. The only way that we can solve problems is if there's a problem to solve. So what does that do? That puts our brain into autopilot. It puts our brain into high gear looking for problems. Oh man, I found one. It's cold out here. Oh man, I found one. You're annoying. <laughs> you know, we find these problems on the outside of ourselves so that we can fix them. But then we're still, that's still just putting us into victimhood. Like, we're just, we're just out here looking for issues. We're just looking for smoke. When it's like, why don't we turn that around, turn our mindset upside down, and start looking for the positive things? Do we wake up every day and talk about things that we're grateful for? Or do we wake up and think about, oh, fuck, I gotta go to work. I gotta go to school. Oh, man, I didn't plug my phone in. Left it on all night. <laughs> we think about these things that suck. And then the first thing in the morning, we're, we're, we have a complaint on our mind. How do you think that's going to carry us through the rest of our day if we don't solve that or fix it? Look, guys. 
We can make any situation into our most successful situation. Life is a success just simply because we're here. We get to have successful lives just because we're here. Just because we have a mind to even consider that there could be something wrong or something right. It's beautiful. We're literally just here just doing what we want. We get to decide what we want. We get to envision and create what we want. We get to choose what we want. We have free choice, like free will. Like we get to do that. So if you're still continually choosing things that are not for you, drop it, man. Let, it, let that shit go. If it's not for you, just accept that. Just like me right now, going through the process of letting go of THC as a means to help me escape from my current reality. It's not solving my problems. It's not helping me anymore. I used to think it was, but then I realized I'm more focused on where my life is heading. If, if my actions now can create my future, then the actions I'm taking now should not be consumed in how does the external world get to fill me up. See, I flip my whole paradigm around. I flip the way that I do things around to where I'm, my goal is to fill others up. Let me fill you up. Let me help you. Let me help guide you. Let me show you through my experience. What have I learned? And how can that benefit you? Right? Because if we keep doing things the same way over and over and over and over and over, we're going to get the same results, man. So it's time to switch shit up. It's time to switch it up. In fact, it's time to switch up everything. You got to flip every single knob upside down. Because when you do that, you get to experience what those knobs are doing, first of all. But then you get to pick which way you like them. That's the most beautiful thing in this world, man. These plants right here, they go in circles and they do all this stuff. Life goes on. We feel different ways. But we get to use those ways to help support the way that we think or feel during our ride here, during our journey. So which way do you want to feel? Do you want to feel awesome? Or do you want to feel crappy? <laughs> I can't even not smile during this video. So like, even when I'm talking about the things that suck, I'm still in a good mood. Because I know that this is helping me. And even if I don't get it this time, I'm gonna get it. I choose to. I choose to. And I just love that. I just love that I have that choice. But also, once you're at this level, it doesn't even matter which way it is. Because when you are in that shitty situation, and you're still just smiling. It doesn't matter. You're just good. No matter what life throws at you. You're just good. Because you can take those complaints. And turn them into compliments. And so this helps with manifestation too. But we'll get into that. This is another video. <laughs> so thank you guys for being here. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for letting me guide you. Thank you for letting me show you the way. I love it here. I love it here so much. And I love you. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked this video, if it benefited you or if it resonated with you, go ahead and give that thumbs up button a big smash. Hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one. Asteroid Austin, out.